What is going on? Happy New Year. Uh, wherever you are listening, I hope you're doing amazing today. Um, before I get into this today, just make sure that you're watching this on YouTube. Subscribe. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Spotify, like and subscribe. It all helps the algorithm, helps me help more people like you. Um, but today I want to get into a subject that's very near and dear to my heart, uh, which is diet culture. And everyone's been shitting on diet culture uh, as of late, I think like the last year or two, um, you know, you've really uh, seen a backlash in people against uh, diets and dieting and anything basically related to that. And um, people are really surprised when they're like, when I'm on board with it, because obviously I'm in nutrition and fitness and, um, you know, we, 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 uh, we get everyone's nutrition model and diet model completely down. And uh, I want to explain why that is. Um, the reason why I'm anti-diet is because for me, you know, I, I have a history of um, restricting and binging. So I'll feel restricted. I'll go on a big binge in terms of my eating. Um, and it's obviously a not great eating pattern. Um, and this has been going on since I was 12. I remember the first time it happened to me, my friend's sister, we were playing shirts and skins and I was skin. So I had my shirt off during basketball, 12 years old. She comes up to me afterwards and she's like, Dylan, you're fat. And I was like, and looking back on it, like it was like the most hurtful thing ever. Looking back on it, it's kind of funny because how direct she was. But, um, the, uh, <laughs> but that caused me to that night go home and just not eat. Cause I was like, okay, how do I lose weight? I just have to like not eat. And then, uh, you know, I'll lose weight. Um, looking back on it, I wasn't like fat. Yeah, I was chubby, but like, I wasn't like morbidly obese or anything. Um, but it really affected me. And so this kind of continues late into life. And yeah, I'm still not perfect. You know, I still do have times where I do go on a binge, but the diet model I've created for myself is one of like zero restriction. Um, and the reason I'm anti-diet culture is because there's two different diets. There's two different diet cultures, right? And so the one that we used to think was the right way of doing it, which was like what I did, right? Restrict calories, only eat clean, exercise super hardcore, and that's how you lose the weight. And you have to do that indefinitely <laughs> to keep the weight off, which is completely miserable. And no one could do it, right? There was like, it was analogous of if... Um, we is if we got like we had like a get rich quick scheme right and only 0.0001 percent of the people that did this whole scheme uh got rich from it right and everyone else like lost money or like didn't make any and so that was kind of like how it was because these diets you know only eating clean exercising a ton uh restricting your calories uh wasn't a doable right so like e even if you could do it it's not sustainable you know so like doing that long term is just not possible so all these people that were doing it felt like failures and they're like you know and, and now there's this backlash and like oh my god i can't believe that i was taken advantage of because this isn't even doable and uh makes you feel like crap and makes you feel like you're 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 not good enough right it makes you feel guilty and shameful and like why me like why can't i do this like what's wrong with me and then you you see that it's not you right it's the actual model that they're promoting and so I'm anti that diet culture. I think it's it's horrible, and the the you know the damage it's done on me personally, um, you know, and psychologically, like took a lot of time to get over. And so, the diet culture that I am pro is more flexible. It's doable, right? You eat cheat foods, you drink wine, you drink beer, you drink alcohol, you live a life. You don't feel restricted. You're actually eating more food, right? You're reverse dieting. And so, I am pro that diet culture. Um, it's it, like, I was, I was thinking about it and I, you know, if you are, there's two different diet cultures and like, if you're like, yeah, well, I know this new one's still here, but I'm still anti diet culture. Um, I get it. I totally get it. Like it, it's, it's almost as if, you know, Augusta national, which is like a, uh, country club in, in Augusta, Georgia. And, um, uh, it's the most beautiful one in the world. It's incredible. If you ever watch the masters, it's like green and lush and just like these beautiful courses and um crazy architecture on the course but in the year 2000 was the i think it was like 2000 or 2004 they admitted the first woman member <laughs> like year 2000 right that's when they started allowing women into their country club and so for me personally like i look at augusta even though it's, it's beautiful i'm like well they still they still didn't allow women into the until the like 
until the 2000s, but it's just ridiculous. So I still have this like negativity towards Augusta National Country Club, even though now they do. But it's the same thing with diet culture, right? Like if it, it, if you're like anti that diet, right? That diet model that like sucked and like has a lot of negativity associated with it. And even though there's still this new one, you just have such a bad taste in your mouth. I totally get it. But just know that you hate the old model. You don't hate the new way of doing things. Maybe you haven't even done it before um, because it's like way more doable. You can see results. You can still live a lifestyle and you don't have to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli and do five hours of cardio a week, right? You could just walk and like eat cheat meals and just do it in like a structured way. So a um, little ranty today, but I wanted to cover you know, why um, everyone hates diet culture and actually why I do too. Um, but the new way of doing things is something that I don't hate because that is something that's sustainable and you can see results and feel awesome. And like, let's be honest, it feels a lot better to be at a lower body fat percentage than a higher one. And I'm not talking about just like in terms of you, how you look and like people look at you and getting compliments. I'm talking about like activities of daily living, like going up the stairs and not feeling out of breath, um, putting on your clothes, tying your shoe, you know, sitting down and feeling like, you know, maybe your belly rolls over your, your pants. Um, your thighs chafing together. That doesn't feel great and you're constantly reminded of it. It feels a lot better to feel at a lower body fat percentage. I think we can all agree on that. And I think we can all agree that it actually is healthier, right? And there's a lot of debate about that, but it is healthier, right? To be at a lower body fat percentage. So now that we have that clear, <laughs> let's, let's continue to hate on the old way of doing things, which is the shitty diet model, right? That's restricting causes everyone to like <laughs> not succeed. And let's let's start looking at this new way of doing things, which is very flexible, um, easy, simple, and uh, and doable. So, anyways, love y'all. Happy uh, Happy New Year, wherever you are. I hope you're having an awesome day, and um, yeah, rock and roll.